Hi, I'm Lee at Iridium. I hope everyone's doing fine today. So, I've got a reaction for you today. So, there's a band called Temple Balls. So, this band, I'm not going to take the piss out of the band's name because I've seen it. People have questioned the name already. What's in a name? It could have been Hairy Balls. That would have been ridiculous, but Temple Balls ain't too bad. So, Temple Balls. You're going to remember it anyway, ain't you? Simple as that. So, on Frontiers, April the 16th, the album comes out, which is called Pyromide, I believe. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, this band are from Finland, hard rock band. Um, this is their third album. So, I don't know what's happened with me and this band. Um, I've been recommended, actually, to listen to this song. Um, someone said, have you heard Temple Balls yet? I said, no, not yet. So this is the first time. I think this is the second single as well that they're releasing from the album that's coming out on April the 16th, which is Pyromide. So this is... I really want to pronounce the band's name because I should. I can't stand doing it because I'm just so bad at it. So but I'm going to give it a go again. You ready? Ard Taronen on vocals. Jiri Pavonaho on guitar. Nico Varula on guitar, Jimmy Valakangas on bass, and Anti Hissa on drums. They weren't too bad. It's better than normal. <laughs> Frontiers have got loads of good bands, obviously, and some that are okay and some that are not so good. You know, it just depends what you like. So really don't know what to expect. Temple Balls. I've heard a lot of good things about them, though. So this song is actually called T-O-T-C. I'm not sure what that stands for. I might find out more as the video goes on. But here we go. This is Temple Balls and T-O-T-C. Give it a little stop there, give you um, an insight of what I think at the moment. So yeah, man, this European band. So this really, rem it's called Thrill of the Chase, by the way. Just thought I'd point that out, T-O-T-C stands for Thrill of the Chase. Um, this really reminds me of another band that I absolutely love, and that's Heat. Especially the not so much the chorus, but those verses. Man, the energy this band has got. It just reminds me of Heat when they're on fire. Heat. <laughs> that was I didn't mean that by the way, but Heat are a really energetic band as well. Especially like they're with Eric Gromwell in the band. 
I know he's left now, but this this is what that reminds me of. It's got that energy when he first joined the band, Eric Gromwell. I don't know if there's been any changes in this band, but they sound hungry. This band sounds like they mean business. This is their third album. I don't know why I haven't heard other stuff because this is the sort of stuff that I love. This is just fits in with like, you know, Eclipse, Heat, Crazy Licks, Crash Diet, all those great European bands that are banging out all this brilliant music. These are just as good as they sound. This song just sounds as good as any of that stuff they, you know, them bands I've just mentioned. So I'm not sure why I haven't heard of this band. I mean, obviously I'm just, now I'm more looking out for stuff because of the channel. So, you know, I'm probably more in tune with what's coming out. So that might be it. You know, I, I, this might have passed me by a year or so ago when I wasn't doing the channel. But these are a great band. I don't know what's, why they're not in the same vein or I don't know them in the same vein as Heat and Eclipse and Crazy Licks. I don't understand because they, these are great. What a great singer. It's been really does remind me of like, you know, the Crazy Licks singer, um, Heat singer. They've really got that energy. The production is absolutely spot on. Everything's just brilliant. The guitars are crunchy. The production's really bright. You know, it's really clear. I can hear everything not really nice. A lot of gang vocals going on. It's pretty cool. Very 80s infused stuff, but with a modern, you know, tinge to it, if you like. Very rock and roll. Some of these bands, man, if they were, like I said, it's a shame because these sort of bands probably would have made quite a bit of money a few years ago, you know, we're talking 40 years ago, <laughs> but maybe 35 years ago, but it's a shame because, you know, that, that that ain't there anymore, that sort of money for these sort of bands, but, you know, if you put this, propelled this band back in the middle of the 80s, what would everyone think of this band? They would actually fucking love them, wouldn't they? They are really good, they are really good, it's a shame, not getting the exposure, and like I said, this is the first time I've heard them, you know, and I love metal, and I try and cover as much of this sort of hard rock, melodic rock as I can. And it's funny, isn't it? I haven't heard of them. I don't know why. But perhaps this is their time now. But let's listen to the rest of this. I'm loving this. I'm looking forward to the guitar solo because the bit of guitar in at the beginning was fantastic, by the way. So the solo, really looking forward to it, if there is one, obviously. Oh, <laughs> it's What a great song. This is, you know what, this this could end up being contender because you've got, not for album, maybe not for album of the year, I don't know. In, in Maybe in this category, maybe, because, I mean, I know Eclipse have got an album out, maybe coming out this year, which could really, you know, that could take the pole position. You've got Joel Holkstra's, you know, 13 album. You could put that in this sort of vein of music. But this, I'm telling you what, if it's all like this, this album, this is going to be right up there with the rest of them for sure. Absolutely loved it. Guitar solo was brilliant, by the way. Lovely bit of twin lead right at the end there before it went back into the song. Everyone knows what I love, a bit of twin lead. You know what? Ticks all the boxes, man. Melodic. Really catchy. 
excellent production. Everyone doing their, you know, every instrument is played to perfection. Brilliant. Another brilliant European band to look out for. Absolutely excellent. Thanks to whoever told me to listen to Temple Balls. I'm really glad I did. Um, did you like that song? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you've heard of the, this band before, because this is the first time I've heard of them. Perhaps their first couple of albums were on a, you know, they, I don't know if they was not with Frontiers or whatever, I don't know. But great, great song. Um, sound like they're a real promising band for the future. So see you next time.